Hey, I'm Todd. Thanks for choosing to watch my video. And if you would subscribe it, like it, all that stuff, you know, uh, that would be great. Otherwise, enjoy the video, and I hope it uh, gives you the information you need and is helpful to you. Take care. 2011 Subaru Outback. And we're going to remove and replace the left front wheel bearing hub assembly. Five 19 millimeter lug nuts. Break them loose on the ground with your wrench, then go ahead and jack up the vehicle as needed and um, support it with safety stands. Protect yourself somehow so it does not fall on you, then jack it up and uh, take the tire off. And we've got 14 millimeter bolts right here, two of them, and then back here for the mount is uh, two 17 millimeter bolts. So we can take one of these off, actually. We don't need to take both off, really. We'll take one off and then slip, flip it up and slide it off. We're gonna collapse the piston, we'll stick a screw, we're gonna collapse the pistons, we'll stick a screwdriver in here and pry it back on the rotor. Try it too anyway. It's not really working well, so we'll just move on. Let's see how it slides off. Check a caliper slide, make sure they move freely. Now you can, if you can replace it or have it machined, and you can get two. You can see it's not pulling off really. Two holes for eight millimeter bolts. Screw them in there and it'll force the rotor off. All bolts are left to loosen right to tighten. So turn some bolts in there, it'll pull it off for you. So we're gonna replace this. So I'm just gonna tap with a hammer and get it off. Now we're going to replace this uh, wheel bearing hub assembly here. It has some free play. Oh, well, what did you? How can you get a when it's a wheel bearing? Hub? It must be the lucky wheel bearing. one and one quarter socket I'm using. Just four, 
14 millimeter nuts back here, but we're going to try and drive this back a little bit to give us some room for our socket back there because it's pretty tight. So we're going to use an air hammer, but you could put your nut on here and pound on it, tap it in there. Try to make your nut flush with the end so when you're tapping on it, it doesn't really mushroom anything and damage things too much. We just want to drive back as much as we can. Not as good, but oh, it's all good. All right. well, short socket. Boom, you're good. I agree. All right, left to loosen. Fourteen millimeter and uh, what a three inch extension is all. Rust penetrant spray would be a good idea too, probably, and you want to be careful to not damage the wheel speed sensor right here. So keep that in mind. We'll put a little lubri lubricant on here. It looks pretty clean in there. We can wipe this down a little bit and we'll reinstall the new one.
Certainly could be. Quarter inch. I've been my snap on grass. Yeah. Yeah. Boom. Whoa. You hear that? I heard it. Boom. Oh, I heard that car right off the rack. Oh, that's what that was like. <laughs> in the middle of a brake job, but when I'm done, we'll uh, lock down that nut. Start all bolts by hand. Did I mention that? There's a little flat spot on these, so just make sure you get these flat spots lined up with the caliper there. And we'll just tighten this up. Right now we're going to tighten the uh, hub nut right there, put a screwdriver in the grooves here and we'll torque that down. and we'll stake the nut. Let's go ahead and put the tire back on. Torque, if you're doing torque, it's about 75 foot-pounds. Tighten them in a star pattern like this and uh, tighten them up and uh, that should be it. <laughs> 